continuation of the video that I did on textured backgrounds. So if you remember, I did a background and I put on some um, texture and then um, it's on a black background so that you could see it. So now I've done it on a white background so that I can continue to show you how you can add more dimension to the texture that you've already created. So on my palette I, right here I have some uh, extender. Here I have Ashvaltum and here I have Raw Sienna in the Americana line of paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of the um, Raw Sienna and I'm going to come along here. Now you can see as I'm doing this, pick up more extender. You see how it's picking up where the texture is? I'm going to come in and pick up some Ashvaltum. Now you can also do this by using a rag and washing it on, whichever you prefer. You can put it on dark or you can put it on light. Why I'm using the extender is it gives me an opportunity of playtime. So if there's too much on here, I can come back and rub out. Now if you see when I rub out, Hold it up close. You can see that it's showing you all the different textures. My preference is the raw sienna, but that, I mean, that's just me. Since you're painting, you can do whatever kind of coloring background that you'd like. This is very quick. Remember when you're applying your texture, the thicker you put it on, the longer it's going to take to dry. This probably took maybe 10 minutes with a blow dryer because I didn't put it on really, really, really thick. So I'm going to come back in with my raw sienna. If it's on too thick there, I just spread it around. I'll put it on some here. I'll take the ash Baltum. I'll put it on over there. I don't worry if it's on too thick. Because I remember, I've got the extender on here. All I'm doing is I'm picking up the paint, putting it on. I'm going to come back with my paper towel, could be a rag, whatever you prefer. And I'm just going to scrub it. You can hear that I'm scrubbing this. Like I told you, you can put it on thick or you can put it on thin. If it's a little too thick and you don't really quite like it, you can go back in with a little bit of water. It'll take it right off. You can also use your um, extender that you've used and it'll also lift it because it's giving you the um, opportunity to let things dry. Like I said before, using an extender gives you play time. So if it's on too thick and you don't like the color because it's on too thick, you, um, you can wipe it off. Don't let it dry. If you let it dry, it's not going to come off. No matter how hard you try, it's not going to come off. So that, my friends, let me tip it so you don't get a glare. That is a very crash course on how to do texture. This would give you a fabulous Tuscany look. You took a piece of the um, cardboard piping that they use when they're um, creating fence uh, posts for decking and you cover it in a texture and then you come across and you do this Venetian finish. It would be gorgeous because then if you put a top and you put a bot or put a bottom on it anyway, you can make an umbrella holder. So there you go. That's how you do texture with floating medium and some paint. This is Sue Gate signing out.